Hello students, welcome to your favorite art program. Today you will learn about another interesting painting technique called gouache. Let us uncover the secrets of this beautiful art form. Gouache painting techniques. To give you a quick review, gouache is pronounced gouache. It is a versatile medium in which a gum or an opaque white pigment is added to watercolor to produce opacity. It is a water-based paint similar to watercolor but with a higher pigment load and greater opacity. It works by creating layers of thick, rich and vibrant colors. Gouache paints have the advantages that they dry almost immediately. With a matte finish that will not reflect light. A range of effects can also be created through different brush strokes. Gouache can be adjusted and manipulated once dried by using water to correct any mistakes or make a change. Gouache has a long and successful history. Gouache paintings date back to the ancient Egyptian art. In ancient Egypt, colorful pigments were bound together with honey and other binders. They were used to paint on papyrus, buildings and tombs. From the 12th century onwards, gouache painting techniques were used to paint Indian and Islamic miniatures. In the Middle Ages, this technique was used by Europeans for the preparation of illuminated manuscripts. In the 14th century, many artists such as Albrecht Dürer, Edgar Degas, Van Gogh and Henry Matisse used this medium which people adored. By the 19th century, gouache began to be produced industrially and its transportable qualities proved popular among Impressionist painters, particularly the en plein air. In the early and mid 20th century, commercial artists heavily relied on gouache to paint posters, fashion design and later comic books because of the medium precise flat color and its quick drawing qualities. Artists as far ranging in style as Georges Mathieu, Fernand Léger and Jean Dubuffet prolifically used gouache as a preferred medium. Today, the message of gouache as a medium is being translated by a generation of innovative abstract artists. Now it's time to master some techniques. Transparency and layering, glazing, washes, dry brushing, using colored surfaces, mixed media. wet on dry, wet on wet, improvising, splatters, color blending, scumbling, now what Surfaces are the best. 
squash can be used on surfaces such as watercolor paper, canvas, wood, cardboard, etc. You can also combine gouache with cut paper collages. The beauty of gouache is that you don't need much to get started. You will need the following materials. Gouache paints, paper, paint brushes, and a water jar. Step 1. Firstly, make a rough sketch by lightly drawing on paper. Step 2. Create a first layer with gradient of colors. Step 3. Add tones in the background to foreground. Step 4. Add layers of paint in progressively darker colors. Step 5. Add details. Here is your final work. In the same way, many paintings can be done creatively. It's refreshing to see the discoveries of other artists using the medium in their own style. Let us now take a look at some amazing pieces of art. Here are some websites and internet sources that you may refer. Dear students, I hope you have enjoyed this lesson. Now that you have seen all the ways you can use gouache, load up your palette and give it a try to express yourself creatively. Thanks for watching and goodbye.